guys? It's Eli, of course, and I'm here with uh, David and Vinny. And um, these guys, if you're not following them already, you should be because they're from Blackout Grappling, um, the cradle game here, you see that? So uh, when I first came across these guys, I had somebody send me a video of theirs because like we, uh, a buddy of mine that had shown me something with, with cradles at one time and I had very little exposure to cradles other than it's like a wrestling thing. Uh, it's a good holding position, but that's all I knew and I didn't really know anything to do and they were showing all kinds of cool options off of these cradles, like like near side, far side, all these different variations. And so I started watching all kinds of their stuff just on social media, and then they started coming out with instructionals, and they've been really disseminating this information a lot more lately, and we're all lucky to have that resource now because it's really a game changer. Once you see how you can control uh, somebody, not just control and hold in like a stationary position, the dog catching the car, but once you see some of the options these guys provide, it's, it's really amazing, and you start implementing in your game, it's like, damn, I wish I'd had this so long ago. So. I was fortunate enough like to attend their seminar today and then to see all this cool stuff and I was like, can you please do me a favor and, and do a video for my channel because my people will absolutely love it and I promise you're going to. So I'm gonna let you guys show some really cool stuff if you'll awesome. do me the favor, so. Very cool, thank you Eli, I really appreciate it. Um, so what we're gonna do uh, first is um, we're gonna take it from uh, Far Side Cradle. Come on Vinny, just lay down here. Um, and what I like to do is uh, I say uh, most of our stuff um, or where we source a, a, a lot of our um, techniques from is a, is a, f a folk style application. Um, it's just it's strong controlled um, wrestling or uh, controlled grappling movements. Um, but a lot of people uh, tend to kind of uh, sleep on it a little bit. Um, so once I establish like a dominant control, then we can start to work towards submission. Um, and what we like to do is uh, um, we like to resource diff you know, different arts. Um, uh, we have a strong mix of traditional jiu-jitsu and classic catch wrestling, which is kind of formulated um, what we like to call our, um, our, our hybrid submission grappling. Um, so we're just gonna take this from a slide back in, strong far side cradle. Strong position. Um, uh, without getting um, you know too deep, we just kind of keep it simple. Um, we don't ride uh, um, you know off angle like this. Our the, the position has evolved a little bit. We like to be behind the shoulder, more on the towards the back, like a, like kind of like a backpack. Um, as well, I use the my knees to kind of frame against his back. Uh, a good grappler doesn't really want to be here. You know, he's looking to turn and face you and follow all the steps that he's been taught. So um, let's just say I've already passed Vincent's guard. Um, I've established uh, my strong uh, far side cradle, a good position. His shoulder is centered in the front of my chest. Um, I have my knees framed against his back and I have a, what I like to call active cutting bone. Um, I like to sink this cutting bone in and I'll grip the back of my hand and I kind of suck this in tight. Um, you, it, 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 um, causes like a, a, a lot of pressure. You may get the tap or you may not, but you'll at least have their attention. So, um, what we like to do is, uh, just from a traditional, um, you know, uh, folk style, uh, near side cradle or far side cradle. Um, a lot of guys don't like this position. Um, they're, they're, um, uh, kind of it's they're kind of compromised a little bit more than they want to be so he'll start to try and flex and bust out um, uh, It's mainly based off of like an ego kind of thing, which is cool. I'll play into it They try they try to attack your grips They're trying to flex and bust out and once he starts to go I can kind of feel that and it's tough because um, You know, there's not too many arms that are as strong as a leg So I'm not gonna waste my energy and fight with him here. I'm just gonna capitalize off of his um, desire to escape. So I'm squeezing tight and I know he wants to pop. When he does, you see this kind of reaction. Again, I'm here, I'm squeezing, he's flexing, flexing, pow! But this is the key detail right here. He's already broken protocol by extending himself and what I want to do with this hand is I'm going to collect his chin. When I collect the chin, this is the detail because I'm twisting his spine. I want to drive my chest forward and turn his chin out in a way. I'm trying to drive him belly down, live toes, to push him towards my submission. 
So I want to drive and I pull, pull, pull. And as I, as I start to um, force him belly down, I want to lift and I punch through. I want to make sure my elbow's under the chin and I don't let go until I'm done. I'll move into my gable grip, bulldog choke, get out over the shoulder and sit for the tap. Okay, one more time, a little bit quicker, a little bit meaner. So again, I have a good strong cradle on Vincent. We're fighting, I have pressure on him. I let it pop, boom, bah! get out over the shoulder and finish him. That is um, just a classic mix, uh, traditional, you know, folk style wrestling um, with uh, catch as catch can, nasty bulldog choke submission. Um, you know, yeah, we have uh, um, another, so because we're doing um, far side, we can do a near side too. Um, so I think uh, Eli, uh, you know, we were talking about this one earlier. Uh, go down Vinny head here. Um, so this is, uh, it's a little tough to kind of film in here, but you're fine. So what you want to do is just kind of look at this area here. Everybody knows there the Darst application. You want to swing through, um, but we do it just a little bit different. I'm not looking for this big wrap around kind of tentacle type um, application. I want to keep it short. I want to keep my cutting bone rigid and I'm looking to kind of shelf his head. This was actually taught to me as like a crank um, when I was younger, um, just to kind of fight the wrestler's arch or their, their, their bridge. Um, you know, them trying to keep their shoulders off the mat, but this pressure on the head um, would always, you know, break them and they would roll to their shoulders. But in a submission application, you can get a wicked crank off of this and bro, they'll, they'll tap quick, all right? So again, um, I have a far side cradle, let's just say, or near side cradle, let's just say, I, I passed Vinny's guard again already. I'm pretty lucky today. <laughs> I passed his guard twice, he hasn't grabbed my foot. So what I'm looking to do here is the same kind of, um, I'm gonna spin a little bit then. Same thing, um, I have good pressure, live toes. Uh, maybe I can't, this, I, this guy's um, kind of bunched up in here, so I'll act like I'm gonna put my knee on his face or try to get him to kind of push my legs away and extend his limbs. That's what I'm looking for. And the same thing with this chin rip. When I let go, I'm looking to collect his chin and rip that. Bah, and I wanna punch through, boom. And when I do, I don't go this big wrap around. I wanna just stay short. Cutting bone, thumb up, bah, right here, and I keep my fist. What I want to do is I go bone to bone here. If I come here and I squeeze, there's not much of a ratchet, but when I go bone to bone, I can lift, lift, lift. But I don't stay here. I lock up my, my cutting bone, and I want to get over his head. I want to center his head, my chest, and when I drop, watch his head. Okay? Again, I push, punch through, lock this up. I want to get over his head, and then I drop for the tap. Cool. Yeah, just a couple quick kills. This is the kind of stuff that I really enjoy, like, most out of it. I, I liked all the stuff that they showed today. We're here at Fit to Fight in Charlotte. They came up um, with and, and shared this all with the big Fit to Fight crew and some other people that came from far away and uh, me. And that was some of the stuff that I enjoyed the most. Um, of course, it's the stuff that I have like a, a kind of a, a, a awareness of, I guess a little bit, but they've got just a little different way or very different way of doing things in some cases. But it's really cool because the blend that they have of that, that, that catch, that folk style wrestling, the, the Jiu Jitsu, because he has a classical Jiu Jitsu background too. So to see the blending, that hybrid grappling style they're talking about is really phenomenal. I think uh, I already know that I'm taking some things away that are gonna be game changing just after today. And we'll be studying the more with their stuff. So um, yeah, anyway, I appreciate you guys. Man, thank you, thank you Eli. So this was the yeah, fucking yeah. coolest, bro. Thank if you If you guys so much. aren't already, make sure you go and follow Blackout Grappling on all the social media stuff. Pick up their instructional from BJJ Fanatics and pick up mine too. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, I appreciate you guys and thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thank you everybody. Thank you.